Hello everyone, we are back. Lord. I hope you don't, haven't missed us too much. But we are going to continue the game now, even though Happy is out of his chair. Welcome back to... he's lost in the wasteland. Yeah, he can hear us. Welcome back to Vault 95 in the wasteland. So, we have Mr. Old Tolman, our super mutant, is carrying Micah on his shoulders. Dr. Rast will be closely following you. Now, before the break, Marvin mentioned that if he sees a bunch of robots destroyed, he will go mental and kill every human and non-robot in the room. Marvin, I want to accentuate, they didn't die. They were just switched off and deactivated. And then if you do try, if you kill everybody or or we go into PvP, might just derail let, the whole let, thing. Let, so. me, uh, let me read that part. Uh... uh when Marvin snaps, it becomes a merciless, sadistic killer and can take a lot of effort from its allies to calm it down. Most other times, Marvin presents himself as a caring, attentive, empathetic friend to humans and robots alike. Okay. Well, they didn't all die here. None of them died, in fact. They were all just switched off. So, do you really want to go that way? start salvaging a whole bunch of them? If you no. want to die... I'm trying to calm them down and you're about to start picking them apart with a no, screwdriver. I'm just teasing. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, how many you repairs we can do for you, Marvin. <laughs> Mr. Ha Mr. Oh. Gutsy will turn to you, Marvin, and say, I'll reactivate them once we get out of here safely. I can reactivate them remotely. They will go back to their duties, but there's no need for them to kill you or your friends. Okay, then let's get out of here. Everybody leaving? I've left, but I'm pretty sure Hazel's gonna want to be looking around at the what, how, what, like a few million caps for all these robots. I'm guessing if you. I mean, it's technically old world technology. Yeah, but... She actually does want to take me along as well, but I have 360 vision, so yeah. I would see her try. That's the thing. As soon as you start trying to pick apart, Marvin's going to flip. I see everything. Marvin's not in the room, though. Like, I'll see. Well, we've got old Tolman and Dr. Raster in the elevator first, right? And well, we wanted to be out before the whole thing self-destructed, because that's what I thought you were going to say. So as soon as they started playing with the computer, we were already were at the top. Yeah. So you were already at the top. Okay, let's see. you've already yeah, went up. So... Yeah. Okay. So the elevator's currently at the top. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you guys are off the scene. Marvin, go ahead. I'll reactivate them once everybody leaves. I'm keeping my eye on you. <laughs> All three of them. Come, friends. We only have so long. I promise you, Marvin, I'll reactivate them when we're out of here. This is Mr. Gutsy talking. Yes. But she... wants old world tech. You, Brotherhoods, don't mess with the robots, please. I'm helping you leave with your life here. Don't make it difficult. Is there anything outside of the robots that is still within this room of interest? Eh, uh, let me double check, but I don't believe so, no. Um, let me double check for you. So the people that tried to get us here lied because they said there's a lot of old world tech here to get us here. That's what these robots well, are. I mean, and there is, to be Yeah, fair. yeah, these robots are old world tech. No, no, no. Nah, there's nothing else in this room. And it doesn't seem to be any kind of terminal that controls them either. Got all these bulls. What's up with that? Sorry? What's going on with these, like, water? I don't know if that's water or if that's, like... Um, There's no description for it in the book, so... Yeah, okay. 
whatever fits. And no sign of the 70 other vault dwellers that would have been killed here. Nah, uh, yeah, so this, no, 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 just the two bodies you saw before. This would be like some entrance atrium into the vault, right? First floor kind of reception area, hence these stairs back here. So I guess this would just be some old disused fountain or something, to answer your question, Bailey, I guess. And he, he, we can't go any further into the vault, everything else is locked up. You tried this yeah, elevator over like here? Doors. Uh huh. Um, so there is a door over here, a door over here, and an elevator here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you check any of them, you, you'll you'll find them all non-functional. And I mean, like uh, the door's completely bent out of shape, as well as the any control panel being smashed up. No chance of getting through it. So it looks like the um, vault. Any of these? All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave because I'm carrying a bot out of here. Okay. Sorry, Bailey. Is it water in the middle? Yeah. Let's see. Dirty water. Yeah. Is it irradiated? It, your guess would be that it would be because this vault's been open, and you know this then level I of might, the vault's been. Uh, I might take some water to put in my boiler. Okay. I've an integrated boiler mod. And you can purify water. And once per scene out of combat, turn two dirty water into one purified water. And how much can you and carry? I'm sorry, being called. I asked her if she'd marry me, she blushed and then said yes, sirree. And how much can you carry like that? Oh, he's being called. Never mind. Well, however much you can take, he takes. Okay. How much, uh. Like. So I have, like, this thing like where radiation is actually a healing thing to me. Trying to figure out. Okay, so let's see. If I like the... drank the water. What would it do? Right, so let's say it's got the lowest level of radiation. And then we need to find those rules. You're on full hit points, though. I am, but if if I wanted to like take water for later. Well, we yeah. So oh, I believe you get. So water just stops you from being thirsty. You need food and water every day, and. Okay. You can drink irradiated water without it doing you the same damage that it would to a human, I think, as a ghoul. So you don't need purified water, whereas a human does. Happy does. Hazel does. I don't think old tall man does. I think mutants can drink radiated water as well. I could be wrong. Marvin doesn't need to drink water. Marvin doesn't need to drink water or eat food. I need to eat food. I'm not. Sure. Uh, yeah, I've, well, I've got water and food on my thing, so I guess I have to eat and drink. I've got a funny feeling you have to eat and drink twice as much as a normal person because of the size here. Okay. Maybe remembering that rule from a different game, but watch out for that just in case. Don't, don't like fat shame my character. I mean, you know, he <laughs> might be all right. Doesn't have to be fat to super, be. Super mutants are fucking massive. Yeah, he's huge. Like, he's, eight, you're, he's eight, nine foot tall you're for like a start. Eight foot tall fucking thing made out of muscle with like your face all fucking ripped back and... yeah imagine the incredible hulk the loof regno version but uglier no i want my character to be vaguely attractive that's why they've got a unicorn horn but maybe they okay. put it on okay what's his what's his um charisma score my charisma score is six He's pretty good looking for a super mutant then. Chris was more personality, but I'd say he, he rocks it well. He's got good style. Yeah, I reckon, I reckon he like, maybe he's not attractive, but he dresses well. He wears like, muscle he tops. Out, like, yeah, yeah. Dress, yeah, he, he dresses for his body and stuff, so yeah, 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 yeah so he's like vaguely attractive. Yeah. Dresses like Chris, muscle tops and that. <laughs> Yeah, not much upstairs, but you know, you yeah. bypass that because the tall and the muscles and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. somebody yeah. just shared a picture in the in the voice channel. It's quite funny. Yeah, like exactly like that, Chris. <laughs> 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 I'm, not, I'm not sharing that on screen, but it's good. Hi, back. Love it. Uh, can yeah, I? That, Maybe looks I like I got a raid, like good. That. Yeah, I got raided. Thanks for the raid. Hey, welcome, raiders. I was planning on typing it just in the chat, but. <laughs> Without taking apart 
<laughs> these robots. <laughs> Is there anything that can be ascertained? Ascertained by you mean like information that can be gathered? Yeah, like you know, like old world tech this is you know i see how it functions i can relay that on yeah you mean the the the, the computer terminals were robocorp i believe is it robcorp Ro robcorp the the, like the the robots are anyway the the vaults vault tech you, you, yeah you know what all this is you know who made all of this you know hey. that you know that these robots are very valuable to you and the people that you work for Well, you just made this dilemma, like you. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I'm trying not to have you have the PVP, but I'm not making it easy. <laughs> Mister Gutsy will promise you many more old world treasures if you just get this woman out of here, so she doesn't die in here. Dr. Rast's already up here. I mean, up. she's already out. <laughs> yeah, she is already out, yeah. So I suppose Mr. Gutsy's like, if you want to leave with your life, I suggest you get out of here because either your friend's going to trigger these things or he's going to start killing you. And yeah, I think you need to be leaving. Mr. Gutsy is going to follow you, though, because of the high success that Schoon got earlier. He's going to come with. So... Let me just copy him as well. Yep. Me. Right. So, bear in mind, Mika's here as well. Dr. Rast will find a nice spot to lie Mika on the ground. Your escape was made easier by the fact that I didn't have action points to spend. There was something that was a lot of fun that I could have done if I'd had some action points there, but I didn't get to. Mm. Now, uh, okay, I'll find the right bit of the book. Okay, so yes, you make it out. Uh, the night is much the same as before cold, with clear skies that glow with a bright green light from the nearby glowing sea. Uh, in, on any of the raider corpses are grotesquely missing chunks of flesh from some unknown beast that's made a meal of them. Mika, Micah is quiet now and struggling to breathe. So should we do this quickly or do you just want to watch her as she goes out? Well... Dr. Rast will lay Micah down gently on the cold ground and removes his gas mask, revealing his face for the first time. Rast is a silver-haired, dashing man, but his eyes have compassionate tears as he stares down at the dying woman. Micah lets her head rest back against a rock. A peaceful expression touches her face, causing her to smile as she stares up at the green glowing sky above. Funny, she whispers softly. Uh, when I was a little girl, I always, I always dreamed about what the world above was like. Blue skies, birds chirping, sunshine. Never imagined I'd die beneath a radioactive green sky. Never, I, never imagined it would be so pretty. Ain't that a bite? Mika laughs musically to herself until that laugh turns to an anguished cough filled with blood. Rast quietly hushes her. He looks over his shoulder, bearing and watching, and says sadly, it won't be long now. Now, does anybody want to speak to Mika before she takes her final breaths? Micah. Uh, was Micah living in this facility? Like, was she like one of these okay. ex-current drug, drug users? 
Because she made it sound like that she just stumbled in there. Right, so you are the one that carries her out. So that means yeah. you showed the PC kindness before, you showed the NPC kindness before trying to gain information. So this reduces the difficulty of your test by one old Tommy, okay. Martin. So you have to make me a charisma plus spe speech test with a difficulty of one. And she's going to talk to you about <laughs> that stuff. I mean, I don't mind if she's a drug addict. It's just likes to share that information. You so know, yeah. Like, nice. Charisma and speech <laughs> difficulty <laughs> one, mate. <Okay. laughs> It's just nice to know if someone's a junkie. Aye. Yeah, it's just, you know, so you, like, lock your TV just, up. Just so stuff. you know to lock certain things away and that, yeah. Well. Yeah. Success with the complication. I'm not going to use the complication. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bank that as an action point. So, delete these two because these are wrong. Uh, GM action points, one. Just bank an action point and not give you the complication. So she's going to tell you uh, that she was being hunted because the gunners learned about the hidden location of an incredible old world device called a Garden of Eden creation kit capable of terraforming even the most irradiated wasteland into a lush, fertile place. The Gek it's an honour. It's hidden in her home outside of Diamond City. She doesn't think anyone will be able to find it. Uh, and she is unwilling to tell you the location. Uh, and she hoped to find the, the perfect location, use the Gex so that she could lead her family and friends out to their dying vault and give them a perfect new home. So she was comes from a vault that was dying and she's she's got this geck and she's been trying to find somewhere to make pastures new as a geck can do it could turn an irradiated land into a garden of eden uh, she's in pain but even more she's afraid of dying she doesn't know what comes after and she's scared that nothing waits for her on the other side no. Can I be evil and ask Bailey for some of the drugs that he got and be like, one last go, one, come on, tell us where it is. You can have one more shot of chasing the dragon. So are you going to ask for charisma drugs? Is that a charisma, was that a charisma drug? To try and make another no, check to get I, the location of the gecko. Oh, no, I'm, gonna, I, I'm, I'm thinking that she's a drug addict so that maybe she'll like be so desperate for one, one last hit. Then no. she'll tell us where it is. No, um Well. And also these are mine. <laughs> I mean they're his, yeah, they're his anyway, so I have to ask. Well Rast watches this conversation that she has with you old Toman uh, with a grief stricken look. Um have any of the rest of you expressed any interest in speaking to Micah as she draws her last breaths? Or was it just old tall man? I mean, she just spilled that she has a freaking piece of old world tech that's like valuable. You would think that I'm a wolf, and it's not I'm such a wolf. And she doesn't. And she she's not willing to share any of that information. Well, Rast kneels again at Micah's side. And soaks a washcloth with cool water from the can from his canteen. He takes Micah's hand in his and lays the washcloth over her forehead. I'll stay here with you. Just rest. He reassures her. Micah only manages a weak nod of her head in reply. Rast squeezes her hand and quietly asks, You remind me so much of my daughter. She's brave, just like you. Is there anything we could do for you? Micah cuts him off quickly, grasping his arm with a sudden burst of strength. Diamond City. A man named Clements. Tell him Micah said, it's time to find the promised land. And then, M Micah relaxes and exhales softly, her dark eyes drifting back up to the green sky above. Ain't that a bite, she whispers with her final breath.
my car dies at the feet of Dr. Rast and Dr. Rast is, is quiet and has tears in his eyes and just starts to look towards you to see your reactions. <laughs> Hazel's crying. Hazel's crying over all the tech that millions of yeah, all over all those robots she didn't get to take apart. All those robots. <laughs> she wouldn't tell us where it was. You remember she said, "A man named Clements, Diamond City." Tell him Mika said it's Micah said it's time to find the promised land. So she hinted that a man in Diamond City named Clement might know. Anybody got any final moments for this scene? I'd be curious to know how the doctor knows her on such a personal level, but I don't know that that's... Mm, okay. So... The doctor would tell you that he was just a friend of Micah. Um, he was traveling with her to try and help her and her friends who lived in a vault. He was the doctor from that same vault um, and they were trying to find the place to use this geck and according to Micah that yeah this geck is with a man named Clements or a man named Clements in Diamond City knows where it is and if you want if you want me to travel to Diamond City with you, I'd, I'd be more than willing to help you to try to find that. It's her people or my people. You'd be you'd be helping me to, if you were helping her. Um, I'm I'm not much use in a fight, but I'm handy with these. And he has a, a stim pan, stim pack in each hand. I think we can take all the help we can get. That is if we're all sticking together to see this through. I came to get what's in this vault, but it seems like the rest of the vault is closed off to us. So, I have nothing better to do. Be, uh, Mr. Big Smile, if you were to help my, my people from my vault, you'd be a hero. Uh, you'd be saving hundreds of lives. Uh, Miss 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 Johnson was it? Yep. Uh, I, I I would I would I would do anything to have you to to help me to find this man and to to fulfil Micah's dying wish and to to save my people. He looks at Happy. Looks at Old Tall Man. Looks at Marvin. Um, I ain't going to Diamond City. <laughs> no way. It's not happening. You gotta make sure I got a lot of fucking caps if we're going to Diamond City. Oh, listen. If we can, if we can get the geck and and save the people in my vault, the the number of caps you'll have will be more than you can count, my friend. I promise. He, he got a disguise kit. If I go near Diamond City, I'm a fucking dead man walking, I'm telling you now. So, um, yeah, ain't going to Diamond City. You either give me fuck loads of caps right now, or I'm just not going. Let me check Dr. Rast's inventory to see if he can actually even <laughs> do this parlay with you. Hazel will say under her breath that it sounds like you should have been one of the people in the vault. I, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have. Oh, no, it says wealth four. How do we, how do we find out what wealth four is? Again, someone. Um, that's. I, I believe that's the amount of d10s you roll for uh, caps you can give. No, d10s. Four d10s. 
Uh, D20s, I think. Four D20s. Uh, D20s? I can tell you now, even if you max out those D20s, that ain't enough. Do you want to roll four D20, Chris? Yes, I know it says... Isn't it? Isn't it? It's not going to be enough. Eighty caps isn't going to be enough. Not to get me to Diamond City, no fucking way. I I need to make sure I've got money if I go anywhere near fucking Diamond City. But, I can tell you this much. You know anyone that has money that's there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How much do you need? Hmm. I'd rather not disclose that at this time. <laughs> I'll let you roll the 4d20, Chris, to see what wealth he's got on him. Alright. Alright. Uh, 20. Please, Mister. Uh, this is this is all I have, and 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 you can take it. But I'll pay you. I'll pay you ten times more. But please trust me. Listen. If 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 it makes you trust me, take this. You can have this. And he hands you over. You might want to write a wee note. A boosted, focused, institute laser rifle, which is a perception energy weapon. Which has a burst fire rate of two, a range of medium. It's a two-handed weapon. He's got a really nice gun. He had it slung over his back under his thing. You hadn't seen it. He pulls it out and says, here, 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 take this. You have more use for it than I do. And he hands you this big fancy gun. Please, if you'll if if you'll help me. Uh I don't really know how to use guns, so... <laughs> um, well, well, while you've been discussing I'll, this... I'll take your use... gift, I'll take your caps, and... Uh... Well, if if, if, if if you want me to hang on to this for my own safety while I'm with you, and, and I promise you, I promise you ten times, ten times the caps, and more, uh, but please help me. Still not enough. <laughs> Jesus, how much do you owe? I owe a lot of money, guys. Is it better to pay the debt or get rid of the debtor? <laughs> you ain't getting rid of the debtor. <laughs> you ain't getting rid of the debtor. Here's, here's, <laughs> here's, here's 20 caps, I promise. Whatever it takes, uh, uh, you will make it. Please. It'll be worth your well, while. Um, uh, hold up, and then what I do, right... I'm going to go back into the vault and take the guy's vault dweller fucking security costumes and I'm going to put that on and come back. So now oh, I look right, like okay. I'm a, a, a vault. Musty. Right, okay. These are 200 years old and they're quite decayed and falling to bits, the vault suits. These are not care. nice vault suits. You're putting a vault suit on. Yep. Underneath what about these your... raider stuff. Oh, they got chewed out. Never mind. Oh uh, yeah, if I, if I if I wear the Raider stuff, I'm sure I'll be welcome in the city as well. So you, you know, that's a good idea. Raider, to take that will be shot at on site. Add a add a tattered <laughs> add a tattered Vault ninety five jumpsuit to your character sheet. Then happy. I'm just saying, what if we, what if we talk to the person you're in debt to? and gave them your head, you know? <laughs> I have to think there's a bounty out for you if you're not paying your debt. Hey, they, there's no bounty, but what these people want is worse than death, and if you hand them my head, <laughs> that's not going to be good either. He rains, spinning his uh, saw blade. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't think you understand. I think, look, I'll go with you guys, as long as you guys don't call me happy, I don't speak to anyone. You got to do all the shit, and I, I'll, I'll go. But like, I'm I'm on the proper down low. In fact, doctor, give me your mask thing as well, and I'll put that on, and maybe that'll help. Uh, 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 okay, so he, he he hides his gun back over his back, and he'll take his gas mask off, and slowly give it to you there you go you can add a gas mask yeah. to your character sheet right. instead leave the gun off you've now got the gas mask there you go and he looks at and old you're just casually looting people <laughs> Seems right, to be... we'll just call you sad now well he's give you the 20 caps okay. as well uh tommy uh old tom and he looks at you 
with sad eyes. Please, you must help save Micah's people, my people. Good. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick him up and just shake him and see what else he's got on him. I was like, I want a present too. Uh, well, I'm just gonna shake him about. <laughs> not gonna hurt him. By the angles. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well a bunch of a bunch of uh, stim packs and we'll see if there's anything else because he's not got his caps. His gun doesn't fall because it's strapped over him. Here, oh, this is fun. <laughs> Where's his? Uh... What is it? Inventory here. Okay, so. Uh... Doesn't say much more about his inventory apart from he's got a bunch of stim packs. So a bunch yeah, of stim packs. Seem like, I mean, it's okay. It's not, you know, doesn't really impress me. But my character likes magazines, so he'd be like, you wouldn't know where there'd be some magazines, would you? So I might be intrigued. I know a vendor in in Diamond City where we can get any kind of magazine. <gasps> Mm, it's like, yeah, I'm quite interested in this. And he gives you a wink. World magazines. He gives you a wink. Any, like... any kind of magazine. <laughs> hey, it says this on my character sheet that my character is really into like magazines and stuff. I bet he so, is, mate. I like, bet he is. <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, he wants to. He said this Sports Illustrated and Nuts magazine I've heard of from the 19. Oh yes, nice. Um, um, <laughs> Marvin. He looks at you. Please, Mr. Robot, I know you're 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 not maybe as interested in the plight of humans, but uh my friends, my people, my family, they need they need your help. He's invisible, so I don't know if he's not there. We're gonna assume he says yes. Like a good little robot. Since he's not there, I'm gonna pop him back down. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, do it. I'll cause the distraction. <laughs> I'll cause the distraction as you go and get us lots of money. I mean, there's a way to pay our debts, you know? Imagine how much money you could get from robot parts. Well, that's a, that's why I was so paid. focused about like rushing forward because all I wanted was money. <laughs> I mean, yeah, while you were down there lasers. getting your vault tech uniform, nah, just because you didn't get just, a little more. Just because scooting has got technical difficulties, we can't punish his character. Like, come on, <laughs> I don't exclusively remember saying I turned the robot back on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just oh, salvaging was... Mr. Gutsy up here behind the... Oh, yeah, truck. I was going to say, as, do, as soon as Mr. Gutsy turns around, I'm going to be helping you rip it. I don't like him. He's Mr. not nice. He's not polite to people. Don't do so, it in front of just... Marvin. Mr. Gutsy has taken no, damage. No. So instead of medicine, it's, I think, mechanics or something? To, or engineering or repair? I mean, no, I could repair, repair so. him, but why yeah. would... Why would oh. I want to repair <laughs> Can you pretend to repair him and take bits out? You know, like, tell this bit's rotten, but take out, like, something important. Sorry, You're Marvin, not, like, we lost it. There was nothing I could do. Yeah, just, yeah, just say you're gonna, say you're gonna repair him, but then take a lot out. Or take the bit out that makes him nice or something. Or put the bit in that makes him nice. Well, at the moment, he's, he, he's worshipping Marvin. He thinks Marvin's a hero for being a free robot. He's like, I'm gonna help you get out of here. And so far, he's just absolutely just following Marvin, still. So even since you got out. There's Marvin. <laughs> we were just there he is. waiting and talking about how yeah. amazing those robots are that are restored down there. Dr. Rast has got everyone else convinced to go to Diamond City and try to find this man. I forgot his name, I forgot already. Clements. Well, Clements. I will join you just to keep an eye on her that she will not take any robots. I'm not going anywhere. So. He, if, if Marvin could, he gives you a look. 
Tommy's going to try and go disguise, but I, I think we've got a consensus that you're going to head to Diamond City to look for Clements. Right, okay. That sounds like the plan. Is that... Mr. Gutsy coming too? It appears that he is going to come with you to help you, to protect you. And with that, you have... Com what do we have to roll to find out how much Mr. Gutsy's worth? You know, like if we were going to sell him, like a roll that we do, like an talk, appraisal thing. We can talk about that in a little bit, but with that, okay. you, you conclude uh, part one, act three. So we did two and three today, so that is the end of the session. But not only is it the end of the session, this is where you all get your luck back. Because you completed the part of an adventure now, so you can all refresh your luck to full. And was I the only one that didn't use any? <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I used one. I used one. Yeah. And I could have used it to take apart some robots. It gets better. Can you not? Can you not do it now? Can you not use like all those little points to run down? No, I'm just taking jabs. <laughs> Now it gets better than that, guys. You all gain a level from level one to level two. So, oh. let's we have we have exactly. time to do this on stream, Scoon, don't we? Um, maybe not picking the perks, but the first couple of bits. Twenty minutes. Yeah, definitely we do then. Okay, so each characters, so change it from level one to two on your sheet. Obviously, level first of all. Each character's maximum health points increase by plus one. So put your max health up by one, level up by one, health up by one. Automatically. It's like, oh, it did automatically, yeah, did it? Did automatically. Okay. Each player chooses one skill to increase by one rank, up to a maximum of six. So that is a skill, not a stat, a skill. Got it. How much is that just by one, or did by, you say add six? Yeah. By one, and you can never put them to more than six. Oh, okay, okay. Chris, I want to mention something to you. In the last session, you picked up a sharpshooter's grip mod. That can't be used unless you have level one in gun nut. So, when we get our next one, you might want to consider this. So, as well as one skill to increase by one rank, each player gains the choice of a new perk based on their requirements. See the perks list section. You get to choose a perk, everyone. Yeah, can I choose the cannibalism one so I can start eating people? Check the requirements for it. Oh, okay. Uh, I will have a look Shin myself. Girl. Perks list. Cannibal. I don't see cannibal. Where is it? Maybe called something else. Is it Lead Belly? No. Uh, is it called something else, guys? Or is it not in it? Are I'm looking wrong? for it. Hold on. Whenever I'm, I'm, I'm reading, I'm reading up the core book right now. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, if I click it, it just gives me a purchase option. Right, so if you go, if you go into the rules and go to... Supplemental material perks list that's third from bottom. It's got all the perks. No, no, no. But if you click on one of those from that perks list, yeah, it tells me I have to purchase the role playing game starter set. Oh, uh, to read it. Mm hmm. All right, okay, well, I've got the descriptions in a book, so what one do you want to know? And I'll read it to you. I mean, I'd like to know all of them. There's Party Girl, there's <laughs> Action Girl. Okay, so I'll go through them. I've got them all here. So Action Girl. Uh, yeah. All right, it says I need to buy it there as well, but I've got, I've got the book here. So let me just find it. Action Girl. Just got all of them. No, this has got a Oh, yeah, action boy slash action girl. Requirements none. When you spend action points to take an additional major action, 
you do not suffer the increased skill difficulty during the second action. So when you use action points to do an additional major action, you don't get the penalty when you use it. If you take action, boy. Or action girl. What else would you like to hear? I just want to know the one that I can eat. So is that called Lead Belly? That's right, so yeah, there play. doesn't seem to be a cannibal one. Lead Belly is... I thought there was. Maybe I'm... Yeah, so did I. Lead I Belly. Mean... At rank, you need an endurance of six and level one plus. So you've got level one plus. Have you got an endurance of six? Yeah, I've got eight. Okay, so yeah. at rank one, you may re-roll the damage dice to determine if you suffer radiation damage from irradiated food or drink. At rank two, you're immune to radiation damage from consuming irradiated food and drink. Oh, okay. So... When you take the perk, you get a reduction from ra irradiated food and drink. And when you take a second rank in uh, it, you are immune. So not as good nah, as we thought. Anyone, if I can... Nah, it's only if I can eat people. I posted a link with the uh, perks in it. There you go. There is all the perks, everybody, in that link. Scoon probably can't click it. Okay. I'm still uh, looking. I am taking uh, chem resistant. You're taking chem resistant. Let me read that then. I'm doing drugs. Nice. I love to hear that. Chem resistant. Page not found. Let me read it from here then. Chem resistant. Uh, so you need requirements. Endurance 7 you've got, yeah? Yep. At rank 1, roll 1 fewer damage dice when determine if you become addicted to chems to a minimum of 0. Nice. Okay. Chem resistant. Rank 1. Bailey has picked a perk. Right. There aren't a lot that I can do. Yeah, I've got the book here. We still have 15 minutes. What do well, we fancy? Look, most of them aren't really logical for my character. Anyone got luck seven? <laughs> because the mysterious strangers are cool. Expert. The only one that might be interesting to do then is Action Boy. Can I take intense training and add an extra two skill points oh, no, to my special? <laughs> it would be it would be kind of funny, but I think uh, adrenaline rush would be fun. Yeah, okay, I'll, let me come back to that in a second, Scoon. So requirements is level two, Chris, which you have because you're oh, level no, two. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. I don't want to take that. Well, yeah, there's a the thing, guys. Because you're level two, you can now spend. Uh, instead of a perk, you can take uh, intense training, which will give you one a plus one on any of your special, any of your main stats. So you can also, instead of a perk, take that. I put well a perk that gives you that. Can I have this one called dog meat? I think I thought it means I could probably eat dogs, but it turns out I think I get a dog as like a pet or something. Yeah, yeah. get a companion. Yeah, oh, so cool. it, I want that one if so, no one else. Uh, so it's, uh, it's not in my book here. If somebody want to read that out, oh. uh, dog yeah. meat, uh... grateful canine companion dog meat. Dog yeah. meat is a character in Fallout, so basically a dog. Yeah, so it'll, dog. it'll appear the in the main book. There is an entire uh, step page, so obviously it's not going to appear out of the blue here, but it will appear uh, before the next session or during the next session. Right, so you, you fancy that one? Yeah, I think that'll be the most fun to Right, so old Tom one's got dog meat. Bailey, you took, what was it called? Chem resistant. Chem resistant. Anybody else took was something? Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking of adrenaline rush. Adrenaline rush. When your health is below its maximum value, you count your strength score as 10 for all purposes when attempting a strength based skill test or melee attack. Nice. Okay, I like that. And since my character is mostly melee. That's a good perk for him then. So I will put it in then. Eh? Hazel and Tommy, what are you guys thinking? Or are there uh, perks uh, in the whole 20? 
There's, the names are in row 20. You may have to look in another link to find them all. You can find all the names of them here. Yeah, there's a lot here that are in the full rules, which I don't have handy. Hold on, you can, you can get addicted to camp? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I do actually have to figure out something if I am addicted to camps. I did take one, and I just don't know exactly how to do the role for that. Yeah, we'll we'll remember that for the next session, then. Yeah, we'll, just, we'll resolve that next time. Yep. Also... I'll just buy the full rules before the next session as well, because it's payday tomorrow. So if anybody is not stuck on a, a perk they can see in the list just now, leave it and we'll do it at the start of the next session. But if you do like one, go for it. I was manually putting it in. Sweet. You just all take dog meat. Everybody gets a dog. Everybody gets a dog. Don't steal dog. my dog. I've got a wolf my pack. dog. <laughs> so yeah, we've got old Tolman's taking dog meat. I'll need to remember that. Uh, we Mar get to choose what type of dog it is, or is it just like a standardised dog? I presume. Uh, well, a German Shepherd, I think traditionally. It's well, it's an Australian yeah, sheepdog, I believe. Oh, is it? I think so. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's based on the one from Mad Max, I think, which is an Australian sheepdog. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, I'm but I think I'm. I'm still going to call it Fluffy. I want it to have like a proper dog name. Marvin, did you say Action Surge? I don't know. I thought you'd frozen, but you're not. You're just really still. <laughs> <laughs> so we get dog meat. We've got cam resistant. Adrenaline rush. Adrenaline rush. Hazel and Tommy, or do you want until next session to think about it? And we'll get a look I'm at the I'm kind of rules. thinking Aqua Girl. <laughs> so what's that again remind me? Uh, immune to radiation from water and can hold breath twice as long. I don't know when the latter would come in use, but the immunity to radiation from water would help. Holding your breath twice as long could definitely come in handy. only happy to choose but what I would say is in between this session and the next one I'll let you all change your mind so anything you pick today isn't locked in if, if we get a look at the full rules and you see something else it's not locked in today okay um might might just go for bloody mass <laughs> nice. are, you having a, are you able to do that I don't know. Oh, it has. It says level requirements, requirements rank yeah, one. No, six, lock, one. Uh, lock seven, I believe. Six. Yeah, I've got seven lock. Okay. There you go. He's got it. I was thinking of taking that one too, but I only have four lock, so I'm not able to. You're going to take bloody mess for happy. Uh, yeah, it seems like the best one to take. It's a good one. Okay. So. Cool. Congratulations. You are level two. You've all got one more hit point. You've all got one more to a skill. And you've all got the perks. And like I said, we'll not lock it in. Uh, in between now and next session, you can change that if you want. But... Uh, we have two weeks to change our minds. Yeah, so... That's... Quick question. Yeah? A mysterious stranger perk? It says after spending a luck point, a mysterious stranger appears to assist in combat. <laughs> yes, but uh, Oliver <laughs> decides when. Yes. Now, the mysterious stranger... No, no, I think it's in the rules. I think mysterious stranger goes first. I think it gets top of initiative. I'm not sure. I'll double check. But mysterious stranger brew is something from all the Fallout games. All of them. Uh, and after this, you'll have to go Google Fallout mysterious stranger because it's a shitload of fun. Uh, and I encourage anyone that's got the the ability to take that to take it because it's going to be a shitload of fun that's all i'm telling you it is 
Yeah, it's a Fallout fan. Okay. I'd be happy with somebody taking that. I I'm might chuffed. change to that. Okay, <laughs> okay. I'm really happy <laughs> somebody's looking at Bloody Mess because as, as a Fallout fan, that's just a lot of fun as well. Okay. Uh, but that is it for Act 2 and Act 3 of Part 1 of Once Upon a Time in the Wasteland. We'll return in two weeks with Part 2. So, yes. It's good. Over to you, mate. Sounds good. Yeah, we will. Uh, we end, are ending it here, as you hear. Um, if you want to uh, follow more on my stream, you can always go to uh, my Discord, which is now in the link in the chat. Um, we will be back with this game in two weeks. Um, I don't have a stream myself uh, of a game coming week. We will be creating characters for a new game that is starting Wednesday the week after run by our own Don. So yes, sir. He will be running a game now on my channel for a few uh, weeks. Ooh. So that will be uh, interesting. And uh, where can they find the rest of you guys? Brew. It can be found Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays most of the time on Twitch at twitch.tv slash brutally honest. Let's see, do you are you in the If not, I will type it in. I'll do the shout out. <laughs> Oliver! Yeah, yeah, there we go. So yeah, I am Rx Oliver. These are my friends. That's my tagline. I am uh, the producer for the RX Oliver channel where I put together yeah. some of the best role players from around the world and we play RPGs of all types. Uh, you'll catch most of it go straight to YouTube these days, so make sure you're following YouTube RX Oliver. Uh, I also run the Discord where we organise all the games. That's discord.gg slash thcc. We'll get that in the description also. Yes, I am Alex Oliver. Thank you very much, Skun. You. Sorry, it was my neighbor again. <laughs> All good. With the pup for the puppy stuff. And Martin, can they find you somewhere? I'll, I'll just do. Yeah, you can find me uh, if you want to play a game and pay me for it. You can find me on Start Playing under the DM name Thrudian Witch, or you can find me on TikTok where I've started to do really sad DM videos. So if you want to laugh at me, you can find me on TikTok uh, under Runaway Dice. That's me. And uh, Oliver, you tried to uh, post a link. Only uh, only mods are able to do that. Sorry. No worries. <laughs> well, Don, uh, they can find you here, of course, on my channel. Yes, uh, you could definitely find me here at Stone's Tavern. Uh, you'll find me in two weeks, not next week. I guess not this coming week, the week after. Uh, GMing a game for uh, this Twitch channel. Uh, you can also find me on my own. Twitch channel occasionally, uh, Don Voyage. Uh, that's about it for me. And last but not least, Chris Kidd. Uh, yeah, so you can you can find me on Twitch potentially on Saturdays. Um, depends whether or not schedules line. You know, there are many moons. Um, but you can find me all the time on Instagram by just simply searching my name. I'm Chris Kid. Don't forget the I am, or I'll bring up a politician in the US, which isn't very helpful. Um, but yeah, I'm the nerdy coach, and I'll teach you how to lift shit for free. Um, or you can pay me, and then you can actually learn how to lift really heavy shit. That That's pretty much the sales pitch. Okay. Then we are going to at least rate someone, so hang out for that, and then we will see each other on the next one. Have a good uh, week or two for now, for this game at least. Thanks for watching, <laughs> everybody. Thanks for hosting. Yes, Skin. thank you for watching. 